Hey y'all, welcome back for part two of the Bird and Blend haul. Uh, so I'm really excited. So this is my pick and mix, and then I bought one extra sample it looks like. I thought I got two, but I, according to this listy doodle over here, I only got one. So that's fine. So I picked up the Cherry Bakewell. That was an individual sample that I purchased because I really wanted to try it, and um, so I did. So it is a bake bowl tart. I'm going to hold this up here so you can read it real quick. And if you decide you want to screenshot it, you can. Uh, so it is the classic cherry and almond tea time treat. I really love pastries. I'm quite a fan. Um, so it's Chinese white tea, almond, cranberries, hibiscus, rosehip, apple, currants, black currant, red and blue corn fl flowers, and flavoring. Um, I picked up two of the strawberry lemonade because... I'm hopeful I'll really like this because that's 40 grams. Uh, that being said, I've seen a, it feels like the bird and blend teas tend to be really polarizing. You're either going to love the teas you picked or you're not going to like them. Like, so, like, everyone finds something they like from it, but I don't know. Like, with David's tea, like, I don't absolutely hate any of them that I've tried. I, and even the one that had the stevia that had, like, a wicked aftertaste, I didn't hate it. It just didn't do it for me. So I pass it on. So, um, but with Bird and Blend, it sort of seems like people tend to be kind of polarized. Like they say, basically, the reviews in the halls I've seen, basically they say Bird and Blend is hit and miss. I have no idea if I'm going to try them yet. So I'm just going to plead ignorance at this point. Um, for me, they might all be hits. They might all be misses. I don't know. I just went with things that I thought flavor profile kind of fit what I like. Um, which I feel like you'll see is a lot. So I picked up the strawberry lemonade. It has, it's Bird and Blend's best-selling fantastically fruity infusion. Apple pieces, hibiscus, elderberries, rosehip, lime leaves, strawberry pieces, sunflower petals, orange peel, and natural flavoring. I also picked up two of the blue, blue raspberry, uh, which also seems to be one of their like fan favorite type of things. God, my nose is so itchy. Sorry. So, I'm going to hold this up here. So watch this beautiful blue butterfly pea blend change color before your eyes. <laughs> Chinese sencha green tea, blue pea flowers, freeze-dried raspberry pieces, natural flavoring. And in general, I like a good green sencha. At least the couple I've tried. Oh, I'm just going to hold on. I'll, and I'm back now. Sorry. So I picked up the big smoke. I know some people don't really like smoked tea. I'm not one of those people. I really like smoked tea. I love a lab sang souchong. So I thought this might be a good one to try. So it's, it says, experience the old bricks of London's burrow in this aged and smoked blends. Chinese pu'er tea, ginger lemongrass, lapsang souchong, black tea, red peppercorn. So I'm excited to try it. Sounds delish. Uh, mohi tea, and I think this is Anna White. I think she really likes this one, if I recall correctly. It is a super refreshing blend of green tea, peppermint, and lime. Chinese green tea, peppermint, dried lime pieces, lemongrass, and lime leaves. I also picked up birthday cake and it's vanilla sponge notes of sweet icing and cake sprinkles and who doesn't love cake sprinkles so rooibos sri lankan black tea sprinkles um maltodextrin as a stabilizer almond pieces vanilla pieces mallow flowers and flavoring i'm psyched and then the coco cabana kula and this one is tropical whole fruit blend Pineapple, papaya, and passion fruit. I absolutely love passion fruit. So apple, hibiscus, rosehip, mango, papaya, pineapple, orange, passion fruit, uh, orange, passion fruit, corinth, sunflower petals, and flavoring. Black forest. So this one is black forest ghetto, black tea with cherry on with a cherry on top, Sri Lankan black tea, cocoa shells, elderberries, apple pieces, hibiscus, cranberry pieces. Um, Sunflower petals, blackberry leaves, blackberries, raspberry pieces, strawberry pieces, and natural flavoring. So lots of fruit and chocolate. Hopefully it'll be good. Watermelon splash. And it says it's a super juicy, fresh and fruity, mouth-watering melon green tea. So Chinese green tea, Chinese white tea, dried apple pieces, hibiscus, rosehip, dried coconut, pineapple, lemongrass, lemon peel, and flavoring. I'm not sure. I think the coconut could be good in that. I'm not sure it's going to be my favorite. 
This one is kind of a wild card that I picked up, the Crush and Blush. So it says, we're all crushing on Cascara Rose. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right, y'all. Pretty in pink and packs an energy punch. Chinese tea guanyin oolong, rose petals, cascara coffee cherry, and then natural flavoring. I'm just going to hold this up here so y'all can see that. So that anything I mispronounced, you guys can, can pick up. So next I picked up some different like matcha tubes and trial type of things. Um, and the Tea Leaf Project has done reviews on these and so has as the tea brews and Anna White I believe has picked up some of the mini tubes so I hope she does a review on it but I do want to say that I really like for multiple people to do multiple reviews because everyone's palette is different um, I picked up the fruity tube fruity matcha tube I'm actually really excited about the Tropical Twist one. It's made with baobab fruit pulp, turmeric, natural flavoring granules. I love baobab. I have used it in baking before. I use baobab bites from nuts.com. I've ordered the blood orange and I think the raspberry and the lemon. They're amazing. They're delicious. Baobab is a nice super fruit, super food, which is technically a marketing term and not actually true, just FYI and it it's kind of peed me off a little bit but it's a really good healthy fruit for you basically is what I'm saying um, without hopefully like over hyping it in terms of marketing because yeah um, so that being said I'm really excited to try this because it doesn't have caffeine and I don't think Baobab has caffeine I'm pretty sure it doesn't that being said I really like Baobab um, again it is one of those things that to some people it may have a very particular taste it is a little tart on the tart side a lot of times so um, for some folks it just may be too overpowering it just may not be enjoyable so uh, I'm excited to try it though because I have had Baobab fruit bites and I really like them so it also comes with the peaches and cream the Nordic berry and I like berry I tend to like berry matchas a lot because if you put them with milk they kind of taste like a milkshake they're yummy. Um, I recently tried the Motion Matcha Strawberry Lemonade one, and that one is really delicious. It's actually like you can literally see granules of the strawberry in it, and I actually really like that one. Um, the way they formulated that one is really, really nice, especially if you're not uh, – you, especially if you're someone who gets those bitter afternotes, that one to me, to me, very specific to me, um, was really nice. I get the matcha flavor, and I get the strawberry and the lemonade, so it was really, really good. I enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, Super Matcha, which is the um, acai blueberry one, and then apples and pear. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all those are in here. I also picked up the Matcha and Mix, which are the sticks. They look like that. Sorry, I didn't show you, but these are tubes. Did you like that? Tubes. So, yes. Uh, the Matcha and Mix come with... Uh, the Pure Grade, which I do want to try um, because I have heard that their matchas are pretty buttery, which makes me think that these might be better for me because things that are buttery and milkier, like the, the matchas I found that are, like some people say are buttery and milkier, the plains tend to work better for me. They don't tend to have as much of a bitter aftertaste, again, to me. I'm just going to really be specific that that's to me because... Um, I pick up bitter notes, real hardcore. Um, so ice cream matcha, which I'm real excited about because that sounds amazing. Lemon matcha, which I also think sounds real good. Salted caramel matcha, and then the ginger nut matcha, which um, Stacy from As the Tea Brews really likes, and she puts it with like vanilla milk or like a vanilla alternative milk, whatever you call it and she really likes that so I'm psyched to try that and then I did what's called a mix in matcha um, and I got to pick my own and each of these little tins are supposed to be two to three servings so I picked up another ice cream matcha don't judge me it just sounds so good like I love that I know I'm probably gonna eat eat that one eat that drink that with um, milk that's gonna be a high likelihood of that one for me even if I enjoy it plain, I would probably prefer it with milk just because it's kind of designed to taste a little like ice cream. Gosh darn, I can't get these things in right. 
and um, I have pet peeves. <laughs> I, much like everyone else. I did pick up the pure gray matcha in the, the little tin because I do want to try it um, and see how I like it. I picked up the cocoa matcha. I also picked up the super matcha again and the ginger nut matcha. Um, clearly these were two separate orders. Like I ordered this the first round and this the second round. And I didn't bother to look and see what I ordered. But I will say my critique with the mix and matcha is there are is a limited number of flavors available at this point. Like I couldn't order the apples and pear, which I kind of wish. And they have like a like a toffee one. Like I will say if you are looking for sheer number of flavored matchas, Bird and Blend is a good way to go because they have a lot of them. That being said, in the smaller sample size type like this, uh, not all of them are available, and they recently came out with an orange and passion fruit, which I love orange and passion fruit. I'm like, Whoa! I'm really tempted to order that one full size, but I'm hoping they'll come out with it in like a sample super tube or something. So I don't know. Or, you know, it just would be nice to as many flavors as, they, as they've got, which they've got a lot, which I I really like because I love flavored tea. I love plain tea. I can appreciate both, but you know, sometimes you just want to switch it up. And I love none of these have added sugar. So, you know, I'm psyched about that. It's all like natural flavoring, which I quite enjoy. Um, although I don't mind artificial flavoring, it doesn't bother me. So that is it for the haul. If you have any other suggestions of places to buy matchas or teas or anything like that, let me know in the comments section below. If you stuck with it this long, know that I greatly appreciate it and that I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I will talk to you later.